you know, I'm just listening to you and the floor show, Ashley, and everybody is very rightly concerned. But, you know, I've got CEOs here who say life goes on. I want you to meet Kevin Plank. He's the Under Armour founder and CEO. We we're just talking about this North Korean bomb situation right. and the markets tanking. What does a CEO like you think about something like that? I think regardless of what happens, it's terrible and unfortunate. But regardless of what happens, that football is going to be played in the fall, baseball will be played in the spring, life will go on. And so we got to live it. And so that's what we're doing here today at CES, launching a great new product to help enrich people's lives, make their lives just a little bit better, a little bit healthier, and live hopefully a lot longer and a lot happier. Yeah, you know, I get accused by some of my viewers that I'm always dramatizing stuff, but I agree. You know, this is why we talk to guys like you yeah. and say life goes on. So the health box. Right. Take right. a look at this. This is the health box that you guys are, what are you, you're an apparel company. What are you doing at CES? No, 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 we're a technology company. Anybody who's going to live in the future better be there. And so we started this journey like years ago, but really began we started acquiring things in our own what we call our connected fitness health system with an acquisition called map my fitness in december of 2013 20 million registered users our bet was on the community not on the equipment here we are now two years later more than 160 million registered users that we have in this ecosystem giving us information telling us what they ate right. telling us where they worked out two billion workouts last year 8 billion foods log into our system. So we have 160 million, 192,000 downloads just on Monday alone. So what is this? Show me this stuff. What okay. comes in it? So here you go. So, so you get in your car and you know how much gas, how much oil, how much tire pressure. Okay. I ask you how you feel, or I ask you how many days you were sick last year, and you go, I, I don't know. I'll tell you, I get sick every time it goes from summer into fall. It goes, I get sick every time it goes from winter back into spring. Right. But like empirically, what do I know? I don't have any data. So imagine you create the dashboard for your health in four quadrants. How much did I sleep? Right. Did I exercise? If so, how hard? And these can show that, right. right? How many steps did I take? And then what did I eat? What did I put in my body? So what wearables have done in the past, they tell you how much you slept and they tell you how many steps. They don't give you any proactive information. I, I have to ask you because you've been asked by the National Football League to work on creating a better, safer, and cooler helmet. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like an X Prize situation. You've committed some real money. Yes. Can you solve the helmet situation and the concussion problem? Yes, it, it absolutely can be solved, but it'll take time. You know what it's going to take? It's to take smart people. So sporting goods in the past, I put this on ourselves, on our own industry. We've been the industry of C students. We haven't been tracking engineers. We haven't been tracking the best, brightest, and smartest. That's, I think, what really changed. When we got into this space, prior to us making these acquisitions two years ago, we had less than 20 engineers in our entire company. Today, we have more than 500 app developers and engineers in Under Armour, headquarters in Austin, another one in San Francisco. And looking at our approach to health and fitness, to wellness, of, of course, what we'll do for our athletes on field, but also what we'll do for the consumer every day. Right. This product we have is for everyone, just like we're doing for football players. We want to make football a safer game. And we're going to lose a whole generation of kids whose parents won't let them play football Which would if they be, don't fix it. But I'll tell you what, America without football scares me a heck of a lot more than America with football. You played football in college. I did. I did. I did. And I tell you, the lessons that I learned in that field are the exact same lessons I was able to transfer over into Under Armour, put on my whiteboards and, and, and the direction of the way I drive my company. You know, sales and marketing like offense, you know, manufacturing yeah. and distribution like defense, like it's the way we all work together. Okay. He says he's going to solve that problem with perhaps GE and uh, the, the National Football and Harman. Oh, look, and Harmon. This is Dinesh Paliwal, who is, of course, the CEO of Harmon Carton, and you two are working together for, and we're calling them hearables. That's the new word here, hearables. Can you show us what you've got? Absolutely. And you're working with Under Armour as you're well. You're working with the world's best, most innovative company, and the, the market is actually changing very rapidly. The wearables market is now $60 billion, one of the fastest growing category, and when we had an opportunity to think it through, that Harman is already number one in sports headphone category, but we wanted to develop something which will make a, a whole new category for professional athletes and a seamless ecosystem, That's the integration. Cool. Yeah. And here so, we are. so this is totally integrated in its, with heart rate monitoring and world class audio experience, and it's very easy to wear, and How it does not come off. Cost? How much do those cost? $250. $250 for earphones? Yes. They better be great. Dinesh, they are wonderful the best to see you. Dinesh Paliwal, Kevin Plank Liz, of Harvard. Thank Carson. you so much. Yep.